everybody, Manny here, Sean, we're at the Water Street Pride, Pride Celebration, currently at the pre-party, um, it's hot as hell out here, but we're out here celebrating Pride this week, so no new podcast this week, uh, but you get this awesome video, go check it out on YouTube, there's a silent disco later tonight, um, so yeah, come we're out here Friday, Friday, surviving. <laughs> Come around, come along with us. Here, you don't talk to me. Bring it down. Have you ever had fun like this? We're gonna fuck tonight. Not really. Oh no, it's a PG version. <laughs> oh, but they cut out the swears? Yeah. For all the people who might hear it. Yeah. <laughs> This is all, I'm switching out. Interesting. Getting hot in here. Baby, I want to love you. You should know. We'll make you a wild before I let go. We didn't close the vlog last night because it was late. It was late. It was very late and um it was fun though it was a lot of fun so if you got to the end of the video and still don't know what we did <laughs> we went to the water street Tampa. uh national pride celebration something like that i kept calling it pride night i don't think it's national i don't think it's pride night it's, it's not i think it's called national pride celebration yes anyways water street is a new district I would call it here in Tampa. That's where the, all the happenings happen now, right? Yeah. That's where I like to spend most of my time. It's in the downtown Tampa area. So if you've been to Tampa near the aquarium, near Spartan's Wharf, you walk over a couple of blocks, you're on Water Street. The Wh River Walk, USF College of Medicine, go Bulls. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it was our first time going to a silent disco. Uh, I had a lot of apprehensions because I am... He was worried about the music, y'all. Music, but I also have a lot of anxiety being around people. So for me, that was a step outside my comfort zone. Do you want this? Is that... Do you want this? No? Okay. Um, <laughs> but we got there early. They had a pre-party celebration. They had pop-up um, businesses. Yeah, there was a, a bar. There was a um, place where you could get face makeup. Um, they also had a hair station and tarot card readings yes. and drag performances. Drag performances. There was two drag queens. I sadly forgot their names. Um, and the tool I use to research thing is hanging on that thing. 
so I can, <laughs> but they were both phenomenal. They were both super tall. I think I read an article that said one of them was like the tallest drag queen known to man or something like that. Um, but one of them was out there doing flips and heels. They put on a good show. Um, so that was the pre-show yeah. or the pre-event. Uh, they had a DJ there too. Mm -hmm. um, and then the silent disco kind of started around 6.45, 7, which is a little further away from the pre-party. And we checked in, we got our headphones, but they also gave us these cute little things. We got a look. I don't know how much you can see that, but it's a uh, fanny, fanny pack. pack. Oh, there's a zipper back here too. Anyways, and it says Water Street, uh, Tampa in rainbow colors. Um, which I know some of you don't like the rainbow. Um, you know who I mean. We got a little pride like thing you put on your arm. <laughs> yeah, they gave us these. Glow sticks. glow sticks. There's a pen. And then these. These were probably the thing everybody was jamming to. <laughs> as you saw in the video. <laughs> yes. Um, but the event got started. The bar opened. People started milling in, getting their headphones on. Um, you could change the channels between, between three channels. Um, they were each playing different music. Um, I was very surprised by the variety of music they were playing um that was kind of a fear like i don't know what they're gonna be playing but it was a really good event and the djs were doing their job um the mayor even dj'd in the beginning for oh we met the mayor i yes, forgot we met, we met the, the mayor. mayor she took a picture with us she touched my shoulders <laughs> and then on the way out she made sure to say goodbye to me by sh touching my shoulders again. Oh. I don't know if that was intentional because she remembered me because <laughs> I have that kind of face. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, but the mayor here is actually um, part of the community and that's awesome because she supports all these events um, as her authentic self. Yes. So we had a great night. It was a good time. There was a lot of people, more people than I thought were going to show up and Everybody had a great time. Yeah, I mean, everybody was intermingling, all shapes, all sizes, all colors. It was just a beautiful thing. Yeah, I thought because the event ended at 10, I thought like people would probably start leaving a bit earlier, but like she, the drag queen got on the mic and was like, hey, so far, y'all, but we got 15 minutes. And people were like, boo, because <laughs> we genuinely were having a great time. Yeah. And it's like you kind of feed off of other people's energy. You're like, yeah. you see the color of the headphones based on the channel they're listening to, and you're like, oh, what do they listen to? Let's go hear what they listen to. <laughs> uh, they play Bad Bunny. Come on, you can't be Bad Bunny. They play Daddy Yankee. I was a happy boy, and now I just want to go to silent discos all the time. <laughs> oh, and proceeds of this event, uh, a portion of the proceeds went to uh, Metro Inclusive Health which is a LGBTQ plus uh, healthcare provider in the Tampa region. If you watch our podcast, we talk about it often. Um, but yeah, really a great time. If you're in Tampa, be on the lookout for, obviously this will be next year, <laughs> yes. for the next Pride Disco and support this local event because the proceeds go to good cause. It's a safe space to interact with members of our community and our straight allies there were straight allies there as well yes uh drag queen thank them for being there really wish i knew her name instead of calling her the drag queen <laughs> um i had a blast and as you can tell we didn't post the blog out last night because we had a blast yeah it was a good so. time uh, but we just wanted to say happy pride to everyone um if there are events happening where you are go out and support if you can I know that some people have social anxiety and it can be overwhelming, but you will be surrounded by people who are out there for the same reasons and you can find community out there. Just go out there, be your authentic self and have a good time. Absolutely. I, I felt great. My anxiety flushed out as 
more people rolled in and I saw people just not giving three craps because I don't want to cuss on YouTube. Um, but they thought about you. I'm right. out here just dancing, living my life. I pay my monies to get in here. So We hope you enjoyed the video. I know it's a lot of like people singing badly. A lot of me not knowing the lyrics. Um, but I was having a good time, so I didn't care. <laughs> um, if you're new here, we hope you'll subscribe to our channel. Have you said this? No. I'm not sure. If you're new here, we hope you'll subscribe to our channel. Uh, we have YouTube. We like to do our experiences, our blogs of traveling. Uh, and we also have a podcast that streams on all available platforms. If you're looking for us on Instagram or any of those socials, how can they do that? Just type in MASXP23. MASXP23. Click its way to find us. And sometimes you'll get to see our dog. He's looking at us like he doesn't know what the hell is going on. Right <laughs> but, uh, we hope you're doing good. As Sean said, happy pride and get out there and support. Don't let these crazy people keep you from celebrating who you are. All right. Bye, y'all. Uh...